Huh. There we go. Hello, folks. Welcome back. For I'm the one, the only Hobo Tom. And if I look distracted, it's because it is. As you can tell, I'm here in the Hobo office during the day, which means I'm actually getting some work done. So if I look distracted, I do apologize for that. Um, we did previously see my cat walk out, who is my new supervisor. Because that's always good. But yes, I'm here to talk about WrestleMania, both day one and day two. And I'll tell you what, I'll be absolutely honest. When I saw the card and saw that it was going to be two days, yeah, I'm wearing my Macho Man shirt, I was, I had very low expectations for this WrestleMania. I was pleasantly surprised, however. This has probably been one of the most entertaining res WrestleManias I think from what I've seen other people say since WrestleMania 31, I saw, I mean, WrestleMania 3 is the gold standard. The one I went to up in the Boston Garden, I forget if it was, that, I forget if it was 17 or 19. It was the one with Stone Cold Steve Austin, Pin Shawn Michaels, and Mike Tyson was the guest referee. That was a great live event. One that was like super value. 35 bucks for a ticket to WrestleMania. I'm there. Um, the one I went to in Orlando, 33, that was okay. It wasn't, the seats were overpriced. I had a good time talking to people around me more so about wrestling than I did watching the actual show. My nephew enjoyed it more, I think. Uh, I think my sister like really enjoyed kind of the spectacle of it all. My nephew enjoyed it probably more than I did. I thought it was good. I just thought it was long. I'll be honest. They're going to have two-day WrestleManias. If they're going to be like this, that's pretty impressive. I also have some thank you to give out. Yes. The Reverend Wells. Sir, I think you're more of a sinister minister because you just told Nikki Cross to take it all off. And Ree Watson, I mean, what can I say, sir? You are just good enough to always win twice because you get that six count.
lustrous hair. And now let's talk a little bit about, let's start with WrestleMania. Day one. Because day one is H. Um, so I'm just going to quickly go through these. I'm not going to give a whole bunch of like details unless it's necessary. Uh, the show started off with the Usos taking on Shinsuke Nakamura and Eric Boogs. Eric Boogs, I think, tore a quad. Or if not, he did something to his knee because he was out really soon. This was a good quality match. Solid cheeseburger match. Usos won. Yeah, so they retained their belts. I'm happy to see that. Again, cheeseburger match. What do you want? Come over here. You're being fluffy. Yes, my, my boss is saying get back to work. Should be doing more work. Probably can't see her because she's like directly behind me now. When she starts to saunter her way out. I'll pick it up, though, after I score something. Oh, there she is. Oh, based on my scoring performance. Oh, no. Go to training sets. That's OK. Um, I forgot how that goes. But yeah, um, so that was a solid match. Then we had, I think it went, yeah, Drew McIntyre versus Happy Corbin. And Drew McIntyre won. I mean, this, this honestly felt like a good Raw match. It's a ham sandwich of a match. Now, why are they sending me the training stuff that's off the topic I'm doing? But yeah, uh, that's my own issue, I guess. Then we went to... I want to say Becky Lynch versus Bian Bianca Belair. This match felt long, um, honestly. Uh, Bianca Belair, there was a title change. Bianca Belair won her title. I don't know. It just felt long. There were way too many false finishes. Ham sandwich of a match. Then we had The Miz and Logan Paul versus The Mysterios. I was shocked. I thought, for the most part, this was actually a really good match. I was shocked at Logan Paul's performance. Logan Paul could actually wrestle. I mean, he hit the three amigos. He did, like, suplexes, body slams. All the basic stuff, well, I can't complain about that. Um, the Miz, the, actually, uh, The Miz and Logan Paul won. I was kind of shocked about that. I figured The Mysterious would win. That would be their father-son moment. I'll tell you what, though. That was a solid match. I applaud Logan Paul. Cheeseburger match. She jumped up. You can see her fuzzy butt right there. Must be her, her observation time on me. Uh, then what did we have? 
yeah, we switch things around a little bit. Because then we had, did we have Seth? Yeah, I honestly forget the order. Yeah, we had uh, Seth Rollins versus Cody Rhodes. I was impressed by this. I knew Cody Rhodes was going to win. He kept his music. He had all the pyro. Made Seth wait a little bit. You know what? This was a good wrestling match. This was a good comeback for, for Cody Rhodes. Being Cody Rhodes and not something silly like Stardust or, or the dashing Cody Rhodes. This was actually a, a surf and turf match. Oh, did I mention that the grandson of the plumber won? Yep, Cody Rhodes won. I think I was expecting that for day two. So, but yeah, I can definitely live with that though. Um, then we had, I guess, for the most part, the main event, or the main, well, no, I shouldn't say main event, but we had Charlotte Flair versus Ronda Rousey. And why did I pick this one wrong? Um, I'll tell you what. Thank you, Charlotte Flair. Thank you. We are not worthy. We're not worthy. We're not worthy. At one time, we had a little slip there by Charlotte Flair. We saw something. The media blacked out because of screaming playing. I'm like, huh? What? And then on replay, yes, the powers of illegal pirated wrestling shows. Yeah, we got to see. Woo! Uh, Charlotte Flair did win. It was okay. I mean, Charlotte Flair is not my favorite wrestler, I think. Uh, Ronda Rousey's okay. She does great judo work. There was a ref bump involved. Solid cheeseburger match. and four is backwards. Darn it. And then in the main event of the evening. I don't even know what that is. We had the Kevin Owens show with Stone Cold Steve Austin. I'll tell you what, it did not disappoint. This actually turned into a match. Um, Stone Cold Steve Austin won. They just wrestled all over the place. Hit a stunner. Steve Austin's turning into the Sandman, though. Um, he was just drinking beers left and right. Hitting stunners. Well, actually, just he kept on drinking for the most part. Yeah, very classic Steve Austin match. You know what? He said he started his matches in Texas. He ended his match in Texas. This was the perfect send-off. Steve Austin wins. I was happy. Solid cheeseburger match. I mean, honestly, at the at uh, Steve Austin at his age, he took some bumps. Uh, he took that one suplex on the outside. That was really good to see. Um, I was shocked that he did wanted to take a suplex. I knew that. I did. Well. That last one threw me off. He turned to the list. Oh, wow. Oh, back to scoring. That's good. So, overall, I got 5.5 .5 out of 7, right? I guessed Cody Rose was going to be there. Um, you know what? I can't say I did too bad. I was definitely in the head of one Triple H.
So let's take a little break. And let's talk about day two of WrestleMania. I'll tell you what. I was so shocked by day one. I think I was just in a happy mood. To do, to see anything. I'll slow down a little bit there. Um, they had a couple of matches that I didn't put down. Uh, they were, yeah, kind of predict, really kind of predictable. So I thought really good. Uh, the show started off. How does the show start off? It started off with RK Bro, the Street Profits versus Alpha Academy. I was utterly shocked at this match. This was a fun match. It wasn't the typical triple threat match. Um, though there was no true spot fest except for the end, as it should be. RK Bro retains her championship. I'll tell you what, surf and turf match. Then we had Bobby Lashley taking on Omos. I forget if I did this in my predictions because I wrote this on the side. Bobby Lashley won. He's so strong. He somehow managed to suplex Omos. That's impressive. Bobby Lashley won. Good match. A good match for, for him and Omos to have. Gives Omos some experience. Cheeseburger match. The match that shocked me was the women's fatal four-way. Uh, Zelina Vega, Carmella, taking on Naomi and Sasha Banks. Sasha Banks came out in a rented Lamborghini. Lime green. Really weird. Um, Liv, Morgan, and Rhea Ripley came out like, I don't know, like dominatrix and submissive. Uh, like S&M characters. They were weird. Natalia and Shayna Baser, they just came out to really their own music. Yeah. Um, in this match, it was actually pretty good. I figured something would fall out of this match. Nothing did. Kind of impressed about that. Uh, Rhea Ripley is going to be the new the new bunny once cheerleader at once, once Ally or uh, Ally the bunny or cheerleader Ally, depending what you remember her as. Uh, Lee's AEW. But Naomi Banks, we have new women's champion. Naomi and Sasha Banks win. I was impressed. This was another one of those surprise matches. Solid cheeseburger match. And then, oh my god. And the most entertaining match of them all. We have Sami Zayn versus Johnny Knoxville. Johnny Knoxville knows how to take a bump. He was bumping all over the place. Yeah, sure. this was a great match. I know the highlight from this match is that Wee Man body slammed Sami Zayn. There was a giant mouse trap, a table of mouse tra tra table full of mouse traps. Um, everything you could think of in like a super gimmicked up match. There was a party guy there, and God, we we saw too much of the party guy. Kevin Dunn, do not get crotch shots of, of men. Okay. Women, so it's okay. Men, no. Oh, oh, oh. No one wants to see that. Uh, Wee Man was, was funny. The whole cast and crew was there. The giant slap hand, the um, nut kicking device, the giant mousetrap that, 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 that botched the mousetrap went into business for itself. Johnny Knoxville wins. But that was just, oh, I was smiling. I was happy. Discord was going absolutely bonkers. This was a surf and turf match. I guess they realized somewhere in there that they were going too quick. 
because then we had the New Day versus Sheamus and his group. Sheamus and his group won. I don't even care about that match. That match was short. Uh, Sheamus and his group defeated the New Day. Can a suit match? And then we had what I thought was nearly the, the match of the night. Um, we had Edge versus AJ Styles, and oh my god. This was almost the perfect match. Um, the one thing that really detracted from this match was the fact that Damien Priest showed up and acted as a distraction. The only thing that could have made this match better, and I mentioned this, and I think this is where um, Ree Waster, or whatever, Ree Watson, Ree Waster, I think I posted on, you know, the only thing that could make this match truly amazing is if AJ pulled off a spinal tap. And that, and that, he's like, ooh. Because they did everything else. This match was nearly perfect. Perfect, except for that distraction ending. Edge wins. I'll tell you what, it was so close to being a flaming on match. It was Damien Priest took away from it. Still, surf and turf match. We had another really fun match, Pat McAfee versus Austin Theory. This was good. I mean, Pat McAfee can wrestle, Austin Theory can bump. Pat McAfee won, but this was like three matches in one. This was great. Um, afterwards, Vince McMahon was upset. So the initial, so I'll just read this whole segment. Um, Austin, Vince McMahon, Pat McAfee decided to call Vin, Vince McMahon. Bad idea. You have Austin Theory on the outside. And of course, the referee's not going to go against Vince McMahon. Vince McMahon eventually did defeat Pat McAfee in that match. So Pat McAfee won. He defeated Austin Theory. He lost to Vince McMahon. But then... Stone Cold Steve Austin comes out. He, he just drinks a beer. He stunners Austin Theory. Austin Theory jumped. He stunned him, hit the mat, bounced up seven feet, and went out of the ring. That, 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 that was worth it. Um, and of course, uh, Vince McMahon said, we're good. He gave a beer to Vince McMahon. He started him. Sip it very cautiously, like he's sipping some fine wine. But he got stunned too. Um, and Vince McMahon just kind of like flopped after the kick to the gut. Kind of did a botch of a sell for the stunner. That was hilarious. And then the next thing we see, Pat McAfee gets in the ring. He has the beer with Stone Cold Steve Austin, and he gets stunned. I went, above, I went above my happiness rating. But yeah. I'll tell you what. Stone Cold Steve Austin. He was having a freaking blast. This whole match. Um, this whole time. He was just laughing and smiling. They broke Stone Cold Steve Austin. That was amazing to watch Stone Cold just crack. Oh, he was just laughing over there. <laughs> Oh, that was the best. I don't know if he was laughing at McMahon or Austin. Tremendous time. And Pat McAfee just on the mat. Maybe Pat McAfee was making Stone Cold Steve Austin laugh. Who knows? Unfortunately, that had to be followed up. Or fortunately, that had to be followed up by Roman Reigns versus Brock Lesnar. Again, this was a good match. Um, Paul... Try to convince Brock that yeah, I'm on your side. This is all this is all my grand plan. Roman spears him through the barricade. 
They tr it was just a, a finisher and, and signature trade off. It was some people are saying, "Oh, this is another Roman Reigns Brock Lesnar match." Ro, you know what? This was entertaining though, and that's the thing. You can have the same match over and over again, as long as it's entertaining. I mean, just think how many times Ric Flair faced Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. Awfully entertaining. Ric Flair versus Woo Sting, even Surfer Sting, amazingly entertaining. The Macho Man. He did the same thing over and over again. Amazingly entertaining. I mean, people were saying, "Oh, this is no, no, this is this was a good, solid match." Had some psychology. You had Paul Heyman there. You had the ref bump that you knew it was going to happen. The ref didn't die. Um, he got the nut shot in. He got the belt shot in. Threw it out. And he started to pull the ref. Hey, ref, count this. Brock Lesnar kicked out. Ate another spear and that was it. I'll tell you what. That was another surf and turf match. Oh, and by the way, Roman. I'm going to watch Monday Night Raw tonight because I want to see what the new belt looks like. Because Roman has now unified both the Universal and WWE Championship belt. Part of me hopes they bring back the Big Gold Eagle belt. Who knows? Um, they could have something that looked like the the NWA, the um, WCW belt. The big, literally 50 pounds of brass and leather belt. Um, I did not do that well in my predictions. I was only really a mark. Overall, though, I really can't complain because for the entire show, for the two nights, I was a 50-50 booker, though. So I should not be complaining. Um, that was WrestleMania. Let me know what you thought about it. As far as the rest of this week goes, Monday, I'll be doing a Monday Night Review for Monday Night Raw. I might be wind up doing that tomorrow. Who knows? Um, Tuesday, I'll be watching NXT. Thir Wednesday, I'll be watching AEW. Thursday, I'll watch some Impact because I think they have their first show that I get to live stream again. I think their next show is the 23rd. I love that day. It's going to feel so good to have weekends off. Be on a normal human schedule. Versus being at the beckoning will. Um, Friday, there will be no show because I have to work. And I have to get kind of prepared and stuff. Saturday, I have a date. Wish me luck, guys. Um, and next week, I think it's going to be every day, possibly. And then it's going to be a special show on Easter. The Daytona Beach Bonfight League comes back to town. And then for the most part, I get into a normal schedule of doing stuff. Impressive. Most impressive. Well, we'll see what happens, though, because every so often things do happen during the week. But again, I'd like to thank everyone for watching. Let me know what you thought of day one or day two. What was your most entertaining match? What was your best match? What was your fuzzy feel-good moment of the two days of WrestleMania? Again, hit me up in the comments. Let me know.